Well, we've reached the third and final phase of our project. We've got the deck cleaned and restored, and now it's time to apply the finish. Remember, high quality products with mildicide, UV protection, and water repellent will provide the best results. But be sure to follow each manufacturer's guidelines on coverage areas and application. Slightly tinted transparent stains will last longer and protect the wood better than completely clear finishes. Penetrating oil-based finishes, specifically formulated for a deck surface, are the preferred natural finish. For a more uniform appearance, a traditional semi-transparent stain can be used. The homeowner for this job has decided to go with an oil-based semi-transparent stain. The two options for application would be either a brush or a roller. We've decided to go with a brush because it gives us a little bit more control. We've applied the stain to just one board. This is going to give us a real opportunity to stand back and decide if we really like the color that we've chosen. Looks great. As a general finishing tip, apply your finish on a windless day. Temperature should be between 50 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit. All surfaces should also be clean and dry. Because you've made the wise choice to invest in the classic beauty of redwood, we recommend a stain finish that will allow the natural grain of the wood to take center stage. Redwood is such an easy product to work with. It is easy to prepare and great at accepting all sorts of finishes and rewards you with the natural beauty that cannot be rivaled by the more expensive manufactured composite products. Well, here it is. And in just a few short days, we were able to restore this deck that was weathered and worn to its original warmth and charm in just three easy steps. I'm sure the homeowners will enjoy this dramatic deck just as they'll enjoy these beautiful views for years to come. For the California Redwood Association, I'm your host, Jeff M. Wallace.